hell horrors and its nemesis. So we did some mercenaries and we unlocked the uh, assault rifle. Now the assault rifle is not the best thing in the world, uh, most of that, but we are going to be doing a hard mode run now. Um, we will see if we will kill all the nemesis, maybe we will, maybe we will not. Uh, let's go with special, um, special six. Special seven is the cool cocktail dress. I think it's the correct one. I kind of wish how to figure out how to quote quote reset which button is the reset or whatever, right? Because yeah, there should only be a reset button that you should be able to set up or something, you know. This is technically kind of the same dress, except it's like in a, another water. So yeah, we will see how many saves we do by basically. I'm gonna try to keep the save saves low and stuff that, because yeah. I wonder which version of the game this is actually and stuff that. Because it is very clearly a modified version if you don't unlock mercenaries. In the regular game mode and the fact that you don't save after beating the game, that was really really weird. I wonder if I press the wrong button then. Or whatever. Uh. Pick up the first aid spray. Let's pick up your stanger ammo here. I'm not gonna bother reloading though, yeah. Because then it should be here regardless of difficulty mode. And that is okay, good. Do we run around with him? Do we run? Yes, we do, I think. This is kind of going to be like a speed run as well. It is for a lot, right? Yeah. Hopefully, I can have clean movement this time around. Stuff that. Uh, I mean, the thing that normally makes the assault rifle really bad is that you cannot afford, you cannot afford to use, like, used go all out with the assault rifle and stuff like that. Let's pick up a reserve herb here. Just in case we take damage from something. We're of course not always going to be killing enemies though. Uh, we should be able to get a clean passage here. I don't know we just run here. Very good. Wait a bit. Here we go. There's a sitter room music. Wish that it doesn't play for that long. And the sad thing is also when you come back here later, you don't get to hear the city room. I definitely think that they should play the city room in more locations and stuff like that. Yeah. 
there should be dogs. Uh. Yeah, we can replace this file on. save. Oh really? Right in turn there, but I thought it was going to go for a punch. Decides to go for some stupid reason. Why is that now? <laughs> this is gonna be 401, the one pretty pretty certain. Four zero one one and then there's one. I know two of the passwords at least, you know, so yeah. Is it, is it, it's zero, zero, is it five, zero, five, one, one, or zero, something, zero, five, one, one, we're gonna have to check what it is, we can't clean this now over here. Okay, the red herbs are upstairs then. And I don't go in here, but uh, there are increments here. 
han har det där också missed some near the bar. Han missed some increments. And that's just the yield column. There should be nothing here. And I give you nothing right if you like this. Let's actually clean, clean up stairs first here. Normally I do run here, but you know, I don't know how bad the placement here is here. Since I know that we're going back to the entrance there, we're taking the two red rocks. On hard mode, you're definitely gonna go through the healing items depending on if Nemesis decides to be an asshole or not. I think it's like zero three. Is it zero three one two? Zero three one two. Is uh, something similar to that? I keep in mind also when you're playing on easy or quote unquote normal, you start with. Inventory space, although that is not a thing in Resident Evil 1, so you know. Do we bother? Yeah, we do. Okay, so I was in lower version of caution there. So an emesis would have definitely be able to be used to. So four, three, one, two. We could die really, really easy to Nemesis is the main problem. We do get another healing item here though. And I'm still gonna go for grenade launch even though we have infinite... Uh, oh, that's so lucky man.
damn it, we should have picked up. When we were in that save room, we should have picked up some of the things. Yeah, you cannot do this. You have to have individual. We could have otherwise had the sea powder here and made freeze rounds. Let's see though. I know up to what point uh, I can save because stupid and stuff that. Um, Let's do something different down the time on that too. Do you think we're doing good time actually though? And it's aware that she doesn't come and as of that, so Brad made it down there basically. I 
think it has already happened though because it switches to night time. Yeah, there's birds here now. And we can unlock this path. Puts us all the way back here. Should be dead now though, I think. Yeah. Okay, so off the police station you can use to go and check Dario. Yeah, it's weird that he doesn't have anything on him and of that, you know. It would have made more sense that he had the diary, the diary, the book thing on him. There's a name Mitchell in him now. Good. I think actually if we, you add an A powder to that, there is something special. I forgot what this. No, okay, you cannot go CCA. Specifically for Nemi Chan. I mean, I don't want to call for too long because I didn't refill the water bottle or anything, so I don't have any water. Let's go this way now because the car might open. But sometimes the car doesn't open at all, it is a bit. Oh, and if it decides to open. Easier. Uh, because you return there with the crank basically. Yeah. 
and here we don't need to fight anything on the first time. something he does have a bit power I need to remember that. Okay. He seems to be charging the battery. Here we meet Crawly Boys! What is the first really interacting with Crawly Boys? I forgot that he has something. He has a power to If you reset the room and the crawly is basically die because they can't spin dead. Which is why you get timer or time even if you make someone a crawly in, in mercenary mode. So um Is, um, this quote unquote second save. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna push it super super far because you can actually press the button pretty early. I think that should do it. No. I could have sworn that's correct. Basically, just a sub pixel. <laughs> yeah. That still feels way closer than the new show and stuff like that. But maybe it's something that extends her hitbox depending on what weapon she's wielding, maybe. I don't know if I think that's the case sometimes. And basically here the thing, right, the longer a weapon takes to raise, the bigger your dodge frames are that you have basically, pretty much. And there should be no enemies here because Carlos is here. It's him! Stars. Hide right? Because you don't want to your battle win hide back. I don't know why that is supposed to explode it, like why does it quote unquote explode? You're always meant to get a free thing here. Do we just go back inside and The cornerstone. Yeah, he doesn't give you the thing twice, though. So. You have ten left, so we spend ten on him. Ten free sound is enough for Nemesis. That's important to know. And right then this is not going to be open because it only opens from that side. Go back inside again. Because I think the things we spawn here now. Because we did not grab the thing, we did not grab the key item. Because it's going to be placed differently now. Stuff that, and I don't think there's anything here at all. Because, yeah, except for this, which is just a reports memo. Let's just pick up the, that as well. I still wish that they made a, like an ultimate version, like maybe a mod that could make the, like, the ultimate version of RE3 and stuff that, because I'm still like obsessed with there eventually be existence of that. Keep my right, I'm not a game creator or anything, right? But you know, imagine if in the future if if people with good ideas could just make a game like using AI and then they could somehow basically take the have the AI study certain quote unquote devs and stuff that and then they would basically have the knowledge of set dev or whatever and stuff that you know and, you know. Um right so yeah, we put that there. Yeah. And then we put that down there. Anger. Yeah, receiving that is huge, by the way, the first day I think. It's huge. The more restaurant time. Yeah. 
And uh, sometimes you don't get the mystery music in the restaurant. It depends on when you go here. I thought that there's zombies in now. So the location that you go to first will never have any missing in them, so it depends on like what you want to deal with. And then this won't show up here now, by the way. Please be powerless here. I mean, better than nothing at least. Basically, I would like for the next save to just be after we're done with everything here, basically. Sadly, of course, they don't allow you to escape there you know, that without Carlos. Because imagine right if they had an... Like, here's the thing, right? Like, if Capcom went back... If Capcom went back into the RE remake and improved certain things or added, like, you know... Yes, of course, you know, it, it would be weird, like, oh, it's a finished game, or whatever their excuses, you know, and stuff that, you know, so. But yeah. It seems that I find it rather laughable and stuff that, saying that, oh, it's a finished product and blah, blah, blah. And stuff that, because, you know, because the thing is that you only encounter nemesis in certain specific locations, and sure, you do that in this too. But then there's the whole variety of how the enemy acts and stuff that happens. That's just, you know. When's the next time you use that? Oh, I forget. But yeah. Uh. Right, and we can just bring the rusty crank, by the way. Because we're gonna do a few things now. I keep on the next time we use the lockpick is. I think we're done with the lockpick in the city, I think. Uh, at least for now. I don't think there's anything more we need to lockpick. nothing here then that means the herbs are here right if there's nothing no that means the herbs are not there because I think that this is what you're meant to do you're meant to go here and just have that because the crank stays there and stuff that like I think that you're actually supposed to go there and know that okay now we now we do that at the, at the you know and here's the thing, like a lot of locations in the remake also makes no sense and stuff that it feels like like sure like the city is not that big right but it's just that all of these streets should be much much larger and stuff that and the way they did it in the remake was really really bad and stuff that and imagine if you would have had the daily scenes where you would have chosen two options right and stuff that and then that would have led to like different enemies spawning maybe even different like item locations and stuff that but you know, yeah, the fact that the green game can be in multiple spots and stuff that is interesting. What am I doing? Oh, actually, that's what 
I'm into. Because now uh, we can. I actually want to do this actually because I believe the way it works is not you would think that it would give more XP from from just f doing it with one power but it's better to do each power individually and stuff that Crazy just because of the fact that yeah different things can happen and stuff that which is also really really cool when you're like speedrunning and stuff that like like sure sometimes you know random zombie use turboing like that could be like the end of your run or whatever right yeah that you can do some of the time let's just pick things up because we can yeah, so she has one two three four five six seven eight right like what is it this only has six inventory spaces, right? This is good. That's actually the best possible thing. I didn't end up being the fuse. You'll put this on. You'll put this on. You'll put it on. That does not look like a wrench. Like it looks really, really weird. And the the wrench is a top tier item, by the way. But if you think about how much certain things get used, but why does the lock pick take up like an, like a, you know, like why does the lock pick take up an inventory space? It is really weird that that's not a key item for her and stuff that, you know. I'm pretty certain we want to loot in here because that's a bee powder. that if you don't go in here then you don't get the zombies to spawn um, 
So now we can do this, for example. The powder combined with that gives you acid. There's no Nemi yet. I need to think there for a while. Because we didn't put it in now, we did not put it in the box. At the power station there will be an Nemi. If you do it a certain way. And you want to get that Nemi basically because, you know, Wait, wrong. I don't want to I should have put in the book first. But imagine, right, imagine if so. Now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. It's two extra slots. Imagine right if they if they would have turned this like they could technically turn RE3 into another like quote unquote uh, not survival game or if they call out outbreak style game and stuff like that. And imagine right that you start in Yield's apartment or you start in the same ap uh, apartment complex as her, or whatever maybe there are certain starting locations and it would be the world of Resident Evil 3 of this game, but it would be like expanded upon and stuff like that. And then you could be like different jobs and stuff like that, and that gave you like uh, advantages and stuff like that. But yeah. I wanted to clear that out, by the way. But we should probably go back and do this instead. And wait with getting the battery. Yeah, you could hear it clearly say here like a machine gun before, but and then you hear out of my way. And it's basically Nikolai, which is weird because Nikolai never has a machine gun and stuff like that, so yeah, I don't know. I'm keeping it with us though. I need to cheat really badly as well. Even though I should have shut up. Oh no, birds! Okay. Then we can do these. We can also do this. And we'll wait with picking that up. Oh. And normally they were meant to be a location where you're supposed to get the top part of this and stuff like that, you know, so, you know. The question is, what, where would that location have been? And keep in mind that technically, something that people don't know exists in this, which I think is like really, really weird, that this does exist. We didn't loot him, right? No, okay. Yeah, we can keep those hanging bullets. I might not know this, by the way. Um, look at that. I'm taking it up so badly now. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm gonna stand up now. 
eight times in seven installments. Yeah, that's how it is having IBS. Stuff that and it's really annoying and stuff that, you know. Because you can cheat and then you can feel like you need to take use of Lord of Lamp as you use the and stuff that because of the um, right, so actually, let's just put that down there. No. I'm not going to save here, but you know. Uh, so you can see there, I will be allowed to save until number eight, basically. Let's do that here. So this is the third save. Okay, good. So uh, that should actually do it for this time then. And stuff that, you know. There was pretty enjoyable, I would say, you know, and stuff that, you know, we did some uh, quite a bit of recording. Uh, I don't know how often I would be uploading these and stuff that, if I will upload them all today, because sometimes, you know, sometimes it's just that, oh, you want a video to get a certain amount of exposure before you upload another video and stuff that. But then there's also the whole thing, like, like I know that there are people when they watch YouTube that, or they never watch long form content, and the best, like, viewers. The views that are worth the most are not people that go in and just watch a video for four minutes or whatever, right? That you want the people that see to long videos, and why would certain YouTubers do long videos if they know that someone is only going to watch like five minutes or whatever? Like, like how many people that do long let's play, so like when they do speedrun of long games and stuff that, like how how many people actually watch through the full thing? Like, I don't mind doing it, but sometimes, sure, it's true, like if something is like four or five hours or something like that or even if something is just two hours sometimes just man I could just go and play a game and stuff like that and gain progress in this game or whatever instead of like watching you know and stuff like that you know and you know and it's of course great if you're like working out and stuff like that and if you have like a if you have your mobile phone with you and you can just fixate it onto something you know and stuff like that and then you can just watch you know so that but watching on a phone is not super super good either and stuff like that yeah but yeah, um, uh, I had some a little bit of neutral left, there wasn't much though. But anyway, uh, this was part one of another one. This is the, but it's not a sort of run, but it's basically a hard mode run. Uh, so this is a hard run. Was it that? And yeah, so I know that we're using the infinite assault rifle and stuff that, but you know, because the thing is on the other file, uh, uh, I'm playing too hard and stuff that, just normally and stuff that, you know, where I don't have access to the weapon. But it's interesting because I believe that it is the PC version that specifically works like this. Like the PC version had. Merciless mode individually and not selectable from the stuff from the from the screen or whatever uh, But yeah, and the fact that they separate them is uh, Like so much of a better system, but that also means that there is no true like new game plus mode And I'm guessing it's also why you start with all the costumes from the beginning like you don't need to Unlock the costumes or whatever you already start with all the special costumes and stuff like that, yeah So I mean there are more challenges some I'm planning to do like like we could talk about it because the time that's running now does not matter in the game basically because you know we saved and stuff that but yeah so I mean uh, uh, like uh, definitely shotgun is gonna be like a challenge a proper magnum challenge is gonna be a thing as well but then of course if you're doing a magnum challenge then you specifically have to make triple CC <coughs> in order to get magnum ammo specifically and stuff that we could do a handgun on the challenge as well uh, and stuff that uh, but yeah 
But yeah, but I don't know if it is that you, that triple AA powder gives you more, or if it's just the amount of times that you combine that decides on how quickly you get the enhanced ammo. Same thing is is when you're doing the shotgun only run, we should be getting like shotgun enhanced shotgun ammo pretty pretty quickly and stuff like that you know and stuff. But yeah. Then there's of course gonna be a Gatling gun run, eventually or the minigun run. So the other, and the minigun in this is actually really good and there are times when I prefer the minigun over the uh, rocket launcher and stuff like that, but yeah. It was crazy how bad, bad that was that name encounter there. And the fact that it because because of the fact that I missed the rocket there with Mikhail, if I wouldn't have missed the rocket there and we would have hit him with the rocket, uh, now I, well, I could have just escaped there and not killed the nemesis. And then I probably would have been able to survive the other place there because I could have used the then used, you know, kill a zombie, exit the room, kill a zombie, exit the room. And then once you get the clear path, you can use the rocket down there from a distance. So that's because, yeah. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy this and I'll see you all next time.